Squaring the carriage and infeed conveyors. Step 1. Square the carriage on the saw frame. Grab a 2x4, approximately 2 feet long. In manual mode, move the carriage down until it is fully extended. Place the 2x4 on top of the inverted angle on the operator side of the saw frame at the very end and place the carriage tight against the 2x4. Shut down the saw and do a lockout tag out on the machine at the stationary end disconnect switch. Measure the distance from the tube on the end of the saw frame to the end of the carriage frame on the operator side. Now do the same on the catcher side of the saw. Even up the carriage by moving the catcher side of the carriage to make the measurement match the operator side, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. To move it, loosen the adjusting bolts, and then loosen the securing bolts from the pillow block bearing in the middle and on the catcher side holding the carriage drive shaft. This will allow you to disengage the spur gear from the gear rack. Move the carriage to the needed measurement and re-engage the spur gear. Tighten the adjusting bolts and securing bolts. Remeasure to make sure you are within 1 16th of an inch. Step 2. Align the stationary end infeed conveyor and hold down to each other. Measure the distance from the edge of the tube to the infeed conveyor mounting plate on the operator side, then on the catcher side. Even up the infeed conveyor by moving the operator side of the conveyor to make the measurement match the catcher side, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. To do this, remove the two bolts from the flange bearing on the operator side that supports the infeed conveyor drive shaft. Now you can move the infeed conveyor by hand to the measurement needed. Replace the bolts and the bearing. To align the hold down, drop a plumb bob from the inside 90 degree corner of the stationary hold down to the infeed conveyor on the operator side. Measure the distance from the hold down to the infeed plate. Do the same on the catcher side. Even up the stationary hold down by moving the operator side of the hold down to make the measurement match the catcher side, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. To move the hold down, remove the two bolts from the flange bearing on the operator side that supports the hold down horizontal drive shaft. Move the hold down by hand to the measurement needed. Replace the two bolts in the bearing. Step 3. Align the carriage and infeed conveyor and hold down to the stationary end. Measure across the infeed conveyors at the operator side and at the catcher side. To adjust the carriage and infeed conveyor, Remove the two bolts from the flange bearing on the operator side that supports the infeed conveyor drive shaft on the carriage end. Move the operator side of the carriage end infeed conveyor to make the measurement match the catcher side, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. Replace the two bolts in the bearing. Align the hold down by measuring across the hold downs at the operator side and at the catcher side. To adjust the carriage end hold down, Remove the two bolts from the flange bearing on the operator side that supports the horizontal hold down drive shaft on the carriage end. Move the operator side of the hold down to make the measurement match the catcher side, plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. Replace the two bolts in the bearing. The saw is now ready for use.